Greetings from the Erie Coast. This is Mad Chad. And uh, and Charity. Well, let's see if I can get Charity here. Boom. There she is. Look at that. She's watching intently on what I'm about to do. And what I'm about to do... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? In your face. What I'm about to do is I'm going to open this canned uh, ground beef. Um, that's been... 9 four, 21. Yes. So we're going to can it. I'm going to open it up, cook it, see what it tastes like, do the tests and all that. But yeah, let's see what happens here as I readjust. Here we go. Here's a better look at it. So like a year and six months, this was canned and literally just sitting in my, sitting in my cabinet along with all its friends. I'm going to open it, taste it, smell it, all kinds of stuff. See if it's any good. And cook it. Wish me luck. Yeah. Here we go, breaking the seal. Oh, wow. Can't just rip this thing off. Oh. Smells like ground beef. It really does. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. So that's interesting. Here's the lid of it. Hmm. What is that? Is that the black mold? That can't be the black mold. Oh, no, that's the seal. Ah, that's the seal. That black stuff, huh? Is that what that is? It appears to be something rubbery. <laughs> I don't know. There's no smell to it. So there's a seal there. Hmm. I'm hoping that's what it is. Hmm. No, it is not. It's the first thing I see. Now, this is interesting. Could that be botulism? I don't know. I'm kind of... It's my first time ever opening up one of these things. Hmm. Oh yeah, we got all our shit together. Hmm. Let's look in here. See, it had a uh, nice waxy, uh, waxy boat up. Now this one is a little different looking. Hmm. Smells like ground beef. I mean, like. It literally, it doesn't smell rancid. Uh, nothing of that nature. See how it fries up. Okay. How about we just go ahead and pour the whole thing in there? It's a nice color. Everything looks consistent. The top, there was some uh, different colored uh, ground beef. A little darker, not red. I threw that away. Yeah, it, it smells like ground beef. Like, 
what you buy at the store. Fresh ground beef. The rancid smell. Nothing out of that, na out of that nature. Hmm. Alrighty then. I'm going to piece over here. Put you over there. Where are you going? Cool. I'd say we turn up the heat. I'm still curious about that. Maybe tell me what you think in the comments. Could that, could that be the botulism? Or is that some type of side effect? I don't know. All right, I'm going to try washing it, see what happens. Right water. It doesn't come off easy, I'll tell you that. Not with just water. It really doesn't come off easy. I think that it's, uh, I don't know, hard to see. Really hard to come off. It stained my fingers and thumbs. It feels slightly uh, greasy, slightly. It doesn't really come off well. It's on there. And it's just smearing around. Yeah. Feels like ink. Okay, it does come off. It's definitely stuck in my fingernails. Yeah. I don't know. Let's really kick it up a notch here. Yeah. Hi, Charity. <laughs> so yeah, I want to eat this ground beef. And so does Charity. Was it going to be any good? I mean, the whole lid thing has got me kind of worrying. Just a little. I know what to do. Time to, uh, Call a friend. Yep, time to call a friend. And it's gone. How about that? So, uh... <laughs> yes. Charity, how are you doing? Mm. So, I made my phone call. And yes, through a little bit of... A little of editing and management... Editing management. 
YouTube magic. Uh, it is confirmed that it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's, I'm just overthinking shit. But, uh... So now, I'm just going to raise the temperature on this, which I already have. And I'm just going to cook it on some high heat. See what happens. It smells like ground beef. It looks like ground beef. It's, no, uh, it's browning up really nicely. Yeah, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. So yes, I call it a... Uh, Called a friend of mine, expert in the field, uh, with some technical support, and she assured me it's fine. It's okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to cook it up. And this is going to be my uh, my lunch for the week, next week. And uh, yeah, I was going to, and of course, Charity's going to get some of it too. So, we're going to eat this. And this, is a, this was a quart. Of ground beef that was canned in uh, 9421. Yeah, that's, that's what this thing is, right? Yep, 9421. That's a that's a two one. I mean, it's 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 been rubbed off. I dipped it in water and everything. So yeah, I mean, as you see in the opening, oh yeah, you smell the ground beef now. Mmm, smells like ground beef. <laughs> Generating a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of grease there. Grease, water, whatever. Cook it down. Oh man, this would be great for like a. I'll also throw some tomato sauce in there, some chopped garlic, some sausages, or whatever. You know, start to make my, my meat sauce. <laughs> but no, this is going to be ground beef. I'm probably going to. Probably going to, I don't know, do something with it. Uh, maybe put some rice to it. Some. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. So yeah. That's pretty good. From jar to skillet. What's in? <laughs> Charity, let's see if I can get Charity over here. There she is. <laughs> oh, ah. when Charity's attack, she is ready. Like, cook it, cook it faster, cook it faster, faster. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yep, I've got it on high. Just cooking it up really good. Giving it some time in the heat. So you gotta you gotta smack your meat. That's that's what this is all about. I know, I'm adjusting.
da 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 ha ah, yeah that's right that's right I'm I'm on I'm I'm over here I'm over here now I'm cooking I'm cooking hey yeah uh uh Mad Shad had to go away and uh yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a little bit here <laughs> Hot, that's hot. I gotta go. Wow, where's the water? All right. I had to step away for a minute, folks. How's this thing doing? Let's check it out. Oh, there's Charity. Charity's been guarding it. Thank you, Charity. Making sure it's safe. Nobody's. Trying to take my meat. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Starting to stick at the bottom. That's what I want. Most of the grease has been burned off here. Looks like it's a little less because it reduces down, right? Yeah. That's right, folks. We're just sitting here playing with our meats. <laughs> what else are you going to do on a Saturday? Just spread the meat around. Spread it. Flatten it out. I know, Charity, you've been guarding it well. Yeah, yeah, sure nobody messes with it. You're a very good girl, you're gonna get some of this too, yeah. Absolutely. I actually want to burn it a little bit. I really do. I want to see what it does. I want to see if it really, uh, how it browns. Get some crunchies in there. It is starting to stick to the bottom here. It's a good sign. I like that. Yeah, it's a little work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a good piece. See what that looks like here. Focus. Focus. Come on, focus. It's not focusing. Anyway. Huh. Like this. Ooh. All right, this is confusing. I think we're in good shape here. gonna try it. Oh yeah, crunchy, crunchy goodness. We're mm -hmm. making a mess here. Ah, 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 ah. Hi -ya. All right, that's a little warm. Yeah. Hey, 
<laughs> Sometimes you gotta put a little elbow grease in there, you know? Get the crunchies off the pan. I just like it flavor, you know, the flavor, the texture, you know. Not necessarily burnt, but uh, close to it. So I have turned this off. It's more than done. I'm just going to let it set for a while. Clear off the area for charity. <laughs> Make sure there's no hot spots, hot pieces. Yeah, I spent a lot of time cleaning this damn thing. And just so I could dirty it up and make a video. <laughs> there it is. It's good. I do smell a little bit of burning going on here. Probably on the sides and the edges. Maybe it's making more, I don't know. Burning some of this stuff. Already well done stuff at the bottom. Shape. Good taco meat. Mmm, taco. I don't know. I might make some tacos. That, that, that's an idea. I don't have any any uh, tacos though. No, no shells. No burritos. No no tortillas. I gotta go get some. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. Good stuff. Yep, smells like ground beef. <laughs> Yummy. We're going to set this on a cold, cold eye over here. Let it do its thing. <laughs> Let it cool down a little bit. I'm going to taste it. Charity, you can get some too. Mm. Smells like ground beef. Yep. That that burnt chunk that I uh, that crispy tasted like ground beef. Oh, very very hazy here, folks. Sorry about that. It's got a nice uh, a nice well done uh, crispy ground beef smell to it. Here we go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Texture. Everything. It's good. Mm. Mm. I like it. Seems totally edible to me. But really, the real expert uh, is over here. Mm. I think she agrees. I, I like my dog's assessment. <laughs> mm, that's better, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got some uh, ground beef. There we go. There we go. We got had some ground beef on the screen there. 
<coughs> so yeah, yeah, there you are, folks. Uh, I probably, uh, yeah, this is the uh, 9421. Been sitting in my cabinet for, uh, for a year and six months. <laughs> Look good to me. Tastes good to me. We're going to carry on. So, this has been Mad Shad and Charity, who is still walking around trying to find a tasty morsel that might have escaped. <laughs> and later on, uh, later on tonight, of course, mm, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will have Trial by X, Domi Adar Methax, with our special guest, the Ukrainian Dancing Boy. And uh, I, I have to tell you uh, that everything, all the all the, uh, uh, the research and stuff that I did, gone. It didn't transfer over. Uh, I'm not. I was going to try to transfer it over from phone to computer. It did failed. So I could read it, right? So I could read it and go ah, da 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 da. Uh, that didn't work. So I'm, I'm just going to ad lib it. Uh, <laughs> it's it's bad. It's bad. It's it's very very bad. Very very bad. So yeah, he. He, he, of all people, definitely deserves uh, to be a special guest at, uh, at TBA tonight. So, uh, thank you all very much. This has been Mad Shad, encouraging you all to continue to train, to continue to prep, because we all know it's a mad, mad world out there. <laughs>